Hi, my name is Alicia Zank and I teach fifth grade math. I want to tell you about how I incorporate dance into multiplication. Oftentimes it's really hard for students when they're using the traditional algorithm to remember where the numbers go and in what order they have to multiply. So I want to talk to you about this dance. So I have here a dance mat and as you can see it's where the students can set up their multiplication problem and then it also shows where each digit will go for their answer. So let me tell you about this fun dance we have. So students, um, looking at your dance mat, I want to teach you the chant and the movements that go with it. You can do this with your feet. You can hop, you can jump, you can step, or you can use your hands. I'm going to use my hands for my example here. So our first step is to multiply the numbers and then show where we record them. So just like this. Multiply, multiply, record. Multiply, multiply, record. Multiply, multiply, record. Now the next step to our dance is the most important. We know that next we have to multiply by the number in the tens digit, and that number is ten times bigger than this individual digit that we're multiplying by. So we have to add a place marker zero. So to remember that, we have a special dance move, and we say place marker zero, huh? And then we keep going, multiply, multiply, record, multiply, multiply, record, multiply, multiply, record, and then we add them up, huh, and then we have our answer. So good luck, good luck multiplying and get moving.